Hi, I'm Nicholas, and today I'm going to show you how to use the brain pad, how to make this space shooter game. First things first, navigate to arcade.mako.com. Hit the new project button and give our project a name and start coding our project. This is the simulator. These are where you find your blocks. This is the design canvas where you cope. A sprite is a character which is often found in a 2D video game. Such as when you go to the website where you're coding, you, you see these characters in the game. These are called sprites. There are lots of different types of sprites. Enemies, projectiles, those are all a sprite. This shouldn't be hard for you. But let's show you how to add a sprite to our game. Let's draw our sprite. You can draw your own sprite or select one from the gallery. I will select one from the gallery. But if you want, you could draw one. Great! Now we have a ship in our simulator. Variable is anything that is in your game. For example, a sprite. You give it a name, that's a variable. Now that you know what a variable is, let's give our sprite a name. We'll name it Ship. I know I'm teaching you a lot of things today, but there's one more thing I need you to know. It's a parameter. A parameter is a number you give to something in a block in your program. The X and Y parameter represent the pixels on the screen. For example, the, the sprite, the X and Y, tell the sprite where it needs to be. Let's put this ship at the bottom of our screen. Change this parameter to 120. Look, our ship is on the bottom. Great, we have a ship, but it's not moving. That's boring. Let's make, let's move it with the button. First, you click on the controller tab and then drag in the move with buttons block and drag it into our on start block under the block that makes our ship be at the bottom of the screen. Look, our ship is moving but it's going all over the place. Let's make it go only left to right. To make it go only left and right, we click this Set this to zero and set the other one, just keep it to 100. And see, it moves. The ship keeps leaving the screen, but I know this magic block which will stop it from leaving the screen. Great, the ship is moving, everything is in place, but we need it to shoot. I want my ship to shoot using the A button. So I hit on the controller tab and drag the on A button pressed to the workspace. Everything you put inside this block will run whenever you put the A button. If you don't know what a bullet is, it's the thing our ship is going to shoot. And to make our ship shoot it, we will drag the projectile block into the on A button press and it will make a bullet appear from our ship whenever we press the A button. To make the bullet go up, we change VX to zero and VY to minus 140. And then we click here and draw our bullet. You can make it any color you want, but I'll make it yellow. <laughs> I'm the always. Now let's load what we have onto the brain pad. We take your brain pad and plug it into the computer with a special brain pad wire. When you are finished with your game, hit 
the download button. This is where you can download your game to the brain pad. Wait, here. Drag it. There! Now our ship is shooting on the brain pad. You can do whatever you want. You can add meteors, you can add robots to shoot, you can do anything you want. That's why you learn how to program. I'm Nicholas, I'm a seven year old pro.